Hair almost. Hair is gorgeous. Whoa. Uh, hi, everybody. It's just PJ here with Sean Sawyer. You know what, Sean? I love talking to you. And I'll tell you why. Because you are um, a creative master on the ice. But I love the fact that off the ice, um, it carries through. We were talking about your painting. Tell me a little bit more about what's going on with your painting. Um, I haven't been painting that much lately because I've been very happy because I'm away a lot doing shows but I do miss my happy time that I do have in my art studio. Uh, so when I, when I travel, I have ideas, I sketch a little bit, and, but I need a full week at home in my studio to be able to create some paintings, and I haven't had that luxury yet, but I do have the luxury to be on the road with Stars on Ice and many shows, and even here at Rock the Ice. Um, so yes, I'm still painting. I'm getting a lot into choreography as well. So I'm really that was my next question. Yeah, yeah. I'm really uh, touching every art form, art form with my skates on and art form form uh, on canvas. And then art form, of course, when you have your skates on, is also your performance. Yeah, I've been performing a lot this year. I never thought I would be this busy as a professional skater. I I always hope I would be but I never truly believed deep down inside of me that I would be, but I never thought I would make the Olympic team either. So oh, hard, that was work spectacular. Does, hard work does pay off. It certainly does. And you know, while you weren't paying attention yesterday in our rehearsal, I um, taped about 30 seconds of Alegria. Mm. And in my introduction of you for the show, I'm gonna say if there was ever a skater um, who could bring to life the magic of Cirque du Soleil, mm. you're that guy. Tell me about Cirque du Soleil. Have you seen any shows? Um, I've, how, how do you connect with the music? I've been a huge fan of Cirque du Soleil. Um, I've only seen one show. Which one did you see? It was uh, Cordeo. Okay. Um, but Alegria has been my favorite ever. I even had the VHS tape. I got that for Christmas one year. I've probably That's watched a while it ago. so many, many, <laughs> many times. And I've been wanting to skate to Alegria for years and years and years. But I didn't think that I was at that level yet and I didn't want to just do a couple of shows with it. So when I got the opportunity to do Stars on Ice, I decided, okay, I'm gonna do it for a couple of years, get really, really um, uh, focused on good group numbers, and when I'm ready to do Alegria, boom, I'm gonna do it, and hopefully it's gonna be a success. It's... And so, so far it's been going really well for me. I've been touring all over the world, and everybody that hires me now always say, you know you're here because of Alegria. We saw it and we want you to do it here. Do you know, it's absolutely brilliant. And did you create that for yourself? Yes, yes I did. I created everything about it. I uh, decided on the music cut, choreography, timing of the elements, and costume. Amazing. So I'm going to include that little um, hit so that people can go look for it on YouTube as well if they want. Um, I, you've told me that in the next three weeks after we leave here, mm -hmm. you are going to be doing how many programs? <laughs> <laughs> I have about 16 programs on my plate. And um, you're not counting the little babies that come with their own music. You're no, counting ones that you have to do the music and everything for. Yeah, so right now i um, taking every second that I have when I'm not on the ice, just researching music and I'm doing choreography for um, competitive skating and show skating because as, wow. as skaters know, right now is the time that uh, every club do, does their own gala. Yep. So Mine included. Uh, yeah, a lot of people need show programs, they don't, they don't quite know what to do, they don't yes. know, uh, and they all have themes usually and you have to respect that theme. Uh, some themes are a little bit larger, so it's easy to incorporate any type of music, but others are pretty strict. Yes, they <laughs> are, under the sea. But yeah. ours is dance party this year, so it's pretty oh, wide works. open. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> so do you help um, skaters with costumes as well, costume ideas, or um, how far does your involvement go? And you're also coaching. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm coaching a little bit. I'm, I want to go more into choreography because I want to be seen more to, as a satellite. Yes. <laughs> that comes to the center, works a little bit with the kids, and then boom, other center. Yes. I like to travel a little bit to coach, do choreography, and I've been on the road so much with the shows that I want to take the opportunity now to do as many shows as I can, showcase uh, the skating, my uniqueness, what I can do, because who knows for how long I'll be able to do this. Hopefully for a long time. I see Kurt Browning still doing yep. it, still on top Elvis of this game. Yep. Yeah, Elvis Stoiko. Um, they're still on top of their game and mm -hmm. every night I watch them and I'm in awe. I can't believe that I'm skating in the same show as them and 
like I'm not a junior competitor anymore. <laughs> like I've been doing this for a long time and I'm still amazed at where I am now. Tell me if you can, your favorite skating moment for you ever, professionally, career, uh, competitively, whatever you like. I would have to say it was, um, that's funny to say <laughs> because I never, would think that my favorite moment would be at a competition because for me it was like dodging a bullet. It was it was stressful for you. <laughs> it was very stressful and my best memories at 2011 national championships when I laid down my Mad Hatter long program. And I remember it. It's as if every pieces just got together and then stayed together. It was as if a big puzzle was finally complete. Done. Yeah, yeah. Com completed. That's really how I felt, and I still feel that way now, and I feel that nobody can take that puzzle and take the pieces away. It's down, it's done, it's there forever. And it is there forever, and again, yeah. that was an absolutely brilliant program. Um, if there was one thing that you would still like to do professionally, mm -hmm. what would it be that you haven't done so far? Oh, God. Um, <laughs> Anything. I have crazy plans. I like to think big. Um, I'm hoping one day Silk du Soleil brings a skating show or skating vignette or just a little tiny thing. It'd be great if they did. Anywhere. It could be in Vegas, it could be in Montreal, anywhere if I get one day to work for Silk du Soleil with my skates on my feet, that would Dream be, come true. That would be the cherry on the Sunday. Uh, <laughs> Maybe. With the 45 scoops of ice cream. A oh, big yeah. Sunday, right? <laughs> Absolutely. No. Make your own Sunday. That's right. And you know what? Instead of calling it O, they could call it Glass. Oh, yeah. See? I know. Call me Cirque du Soleil. I'll hook you up. Glass. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Skating would be a perfect fit for Cirque du Soleil. It would be, but the, it would be difficult to find a cast. Yes, but they could still do some of the stuff like not... We're, we're going to work on it, Sean. We're going to take over the world. Yeah. Don't worry. It'll be fine. <laughs> we will. Thank you so much for All talking right. to Thank me. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure's mine. Bye.